Hi, I'm Eileen from ET Speed from Home. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you this Philips anti antigen Power Pro Aqua. It's a 2-in-1 lithium wet and dry cordless vacuum cleaner. The model number is FC6402. So what it does is that it can vacuum all hard floor and carpet area. And it comes with a water tank which enables you to mop all hard floor area but not carpet. So what it does is that you can either use it to vacuum and mop at the same time or you can use it as a vacuum cleaner itself without the mop. So I'm going to open up the box, show you how I fix this and every different parts of the vacuum cleaner and then show you how I use it and what I think about it. Inside this box, it comes with this few items. You have the instruction and two microfiber cloth, a water tank, and you have the wall plug plus the attachment, a charger, and the vacuum cleaner itself. This comes with a cable tidy wall accessory. So place your cable in here. So place a nozzle in here. And then place this 53 cm above the ground like this. It does come with the plug and the screw. Um, of course, it's, if you didn't want to uh, put your uh, cable permanently on the wall, it's fine. I'm not using it. But it's quite a nice little thought to put your cable in one place. This is the water tank. It mentioned that uh, it will, the capacity for this is 200 ml of water. Uh, you can put some detergent in here if you want to and uh, chuck away the water every 12 hour if you're going to leave this permanently. So this is their suggestion. And you can see how the water tank looks like. And at the bottom here, this is where the water drip up. Uh, this can be changed if uh, this is broke. So if you can see, there's two buttons over here, which I'm just going to press it, and this will release the water dispenser. Um, it's quite a very small hole. I'm not sure how quick is the rate of the flow, but uh, I will try it out in a minute. And uh, at the front here, this is where you put in your water. So I'm going to pour the 200 ml of water in here right now. So from what I can see, it fill up one of the gap and it start leaking out right now. Okay, let me close it up. And you can see the water is coming out. Well, I'm uh, putting in the water. Okay, let's gonna put it aside first. And uh, it comes with two microfiber cloth, and you can see at the back is something like that. So what you do is just place it on the top like this, and it shall stick. Okay, just gonna put this aside. That is a spare one, and I'm gonna turn it over. It will basically just drip. Okay. So you can so this is how it looks when you fill it up the water. Okay, the bubble is going down right now and I think it's gonna wet this whole cloth fairly soon. Um next is like you have to place the vacuum cleaner right here, which I'm gonna show you. Um I have not fixed the vacuum cleaner totally, but just quickly show you. You just place this here like this, so it will vacuum it first, and then then it will sort of mop the floor. Okay, now let's take a look at the vacuum cleaner. So this is how it comes in the box. Uh, the only thing that you need to fix is the handles, and you can see here it comes with a screw, uh, which you can use a coin to turn it. Once you place the handle in. This is and put in the screw and then you can just screw it tight. So let's take a look at the vacuum cleaner. And you can see this is a uh, smooth surfaces and you have some grip at the bottom handle here. Uh, I'm not sure if long term use would it be comfortable. I will tell you once I uh, have a few go about it. Uh, this is the on off button and you can max it 
and that is the battery indicator it takes five and a half hour to charge for 40 minutes of use so let's turn it around and show you where to put the charger so let's go all the way down here so if you pass by the screw here so it's just literally at the uh, start of the vacuum cleaner and you can uh, plug it in like this so this is where you put in your charger now let's take a look at the canister itself so if you want to remove the dirt simply just press these two button on the side here to remove it and you can see there's a max over here so if it's max then it's time for you to uh, discard the rubbish in there and next is to uh, remove this and then chuck whatever dirt is inside here so now let's put it back so make sure that we match this before we place it back to the canister so it suggests that um, you wash your filter every month so this is the filter button so let's push pull it and you can see here this is the filter that can be washed they said that um, wash it every month and uh, you have to be dry before you put it in so I'll say maybe it'll take 24 hours to dry right and inside here the whole thing can be washed um, hand wash I think um, so what you do is you pull it out to wash it and here again just press these two buttons to release this canister and then same thing with this so all these few items here all can be washed and uh, they do suggest you to wash it every month now I'm going to place everything back again so this is the um, container and then you need this put it on top and next is this for the side you can hear it click and that one I have to align it properly to uh, fix it in so you can see all the lines here so just slot it through so that's the line and that is the filter so just press it all the way down here and now I'm gonna place it back onto the vacuum cleaner okay so once you click it it will stay in place so now let's take a look at this brush here and um, let's turn around and show you so that's the wheel um, slightly rubbery which is quite nice and then you have this part where you can remove the whole uh, brush for you to clean so just click it on the side here okay so that is removed and now you have to uh, pull this off or you can hold it like that so you just pull it off cut away whatever hair it is and you can see there's a groove here so for you to slide your scissors in to cut along all the hair that's stuck in here so let's put it back so I have to assign it properly so place this in first on the top and then place this now just close it okay so this is the brush now I'm going to show you the charger I have plugged in the charger and you can see at the handle here there's some flashing light you probably couldn't see it from this lighting um, but there's one bar here so I just literally just charge it so I think it will keep blinking and blinking so when the vacuum cleaner is fully charged it will show you three bar here in green um, when it starts charging it when it's run out of battery it will start as a amble and then it will turn into green and then when it's fully charged all the bar will be fully shown on here now I'm gonna test this vacuum cleaner this is on just turn it on you can see how quickly it sucks it up now I'm gonna put it on a max
use the mop, simply place this here and it should stay in place like this. So um, the whole uh, microfiber cloth is wet right now so we can uh, vacuum it and mop at the same time. So let's press the turn it on. And you can see it leaves a trail of uh, wet trail on the back here. So it's sort of vacuum and mop at the same time. So some of the bits might have uh, stuck onto the uh, cloth itself. Now I'm going to try it on the carpet and see how smooth it uh, glides through. Okay, let's turn it on. And Okay, let's move it around. It's quite a good power and um, it's quite easy um, sliding it through. There's no resistance, which is quite good. So it's quite easy to um, push. So let's turn it on max. Okay. You can instantly hear a difference. Again, you can, uh, I can feel that it's slightly vibrating on the uh, handle, but it's um, quite strong. And again, um, there's not much of resistance on the carpet. It's uh, quite easy to uh, vacuum it out. This cordless vacuum cleaner is very powerful, especially using it on a carpet. Um, I find that um, it's so simple to use it on a carpet, it just glides it through um, and it's very very smooth. There's not much of resistance, um, even though there's not much resistance, it's still able to uh, vacuum it very cleanly. It only has two settings which is the on off button and the max on this uh, model. But it still gives me a very good suction throughout the whole house uh, on the carpet or on the uh, hard floor. Um, I enjoy using this because it's, um, the brush head is slightly thinner than um, any other brand. It's so thin that I can uh, go into under the sofa or the bed much more deeper. Uh, which is quite nice because sometimes you just need to vacuum just at that corner. And um, it comes with a good height and uh, I enjoy using it. And next, um, the only thing that I dislike on the handle is that it didn't come with any um, silicone or, you know, it's, this is quite plasticky. So after some time, you know, you, you will not feel it's comfortable, but it's still all right to uh, vacuum the whole house. Um, the battery lasts 40 minutes. so. It's quite a good um, battery life, although it takes about five hours to charge the whole um, vacuum cleaner. But for 40 minutes, I can vacuum a lot of places, so which is um, quite a good battery life. So next, I want to touch on is the mop. This mop is free flow. You cannot control the water level, and um, you cannot literally place this on the floor like this if you're not using it because the water will just soak through the whole microfiber. So you have to remember if you're not using it, maybe turn the other way around like this or empty the water tank because um, I left it and then it just drip everywhere on the floor. So you have to always remember if you're not using it, tip it over or empty the tank. Um, this tank is about uh, 200 mils. Uh, you can put slightly more. Um, 200 mils doesn't cover much uh, of the surface area. It depends on how you use it. Um, the faster you mop, probably you will get a lot of surface area, but um, the slower you mop, it will drip much more and your floor will get <laughs> quite wet. So you have to be careful of using this mop. So you have to be either be quick or you know, and remember turn over. So that, I mean, it's quite a nice idea to have a mop uh, ready whenever you want it. But when you use this, you have to be quite careful using this. Overall, I enjoy using this vacuum cleaner. It's powerful, it's lightweight, and it's so um, easy to use. 
especially on carpet, I really enjoy using it. And uh, it also comes with this mop. It's a good idea uh, that you can use it whenever you just want to mop a small area. But you just have to remember, tip the other way around, otherwise all the water will drain out onto your microfiber um, cloth. So if you have any question, do ask me on my comment and I will answer back as soon as possible. Bye!